free airtime with hashtag learn on one. Share your comments on the lessons. WhatsApp your feedback, name and town to 081-200-6659. Hashtag learn on one. Invite learning in. Are you ready to go to the Waka apple tree? Let's go! Let's say the Waka chant. Waka Waka Moo, Waka Waka Moo, Waka Waka Moo! Welcome Waka Pandu. Welcome to the great Waka apple tree. My name is Anna the apple and today I'm going to tell you about my beautiful apple family. Finally, I get to visit the great Waka apple tree. My name is Anna. I am a Jonah Gold apple. You know the really, really red apple with just a hint of yellow. You go, girl! Red power! Meet my mom, Golden Delicious Apple. She's a yellow, bright and cherry apple who's very, very soft, by the way. Nice to meet you, ma'am. This is my brother, Ogaga. Ogaga is round with bright red skin and hints of green. Ogaga is also a good cook. Oh my, he's so strong and he can cook. Pay attention, Wakapandu. This over here is Fami Apple. Fami is my dad. He has an intense look and is dark green in color. 
Papa Femi Apple loves to read books. Reading is very important. Thanks for the motivation, Papa Femi. This is my other brother, Dingani Apple. He's bright yellow and taller than everyone and wide in shape. Dingani loves organizing and decorating. He is so prim and proper. Hi, Dingani. The last one in my family tree is my granny, Kuku Amelia. Kuku Amelia is red, green and yellow. She has the best of all of us. She loves to knit. Thanks for the sweater, Kuku Amelia. It's very nice to meet you. That's it, Waka Pandu. You've officially met the Waka Apple family. Wow, Anna. You have a pretty interesting and beautiful family. It's dinner time. Remember, Mama Golden Delicious Apple. She's yellow, bright and cherry apple, who's very, very soft, by the way. My brother Ogaga. Ogaga is round with bright red skin and hints of green. Ogaga is also a good cook. Papa Femi Apple. Femi is my dad. He has an intense look and is dark green in color. Papa Femi Apple loves to read books. My other brother, Dingani Apple. He's bright yellow and taller than everyone and wide in shape. Dingani loves organizing and decorating. My granny, Kuku Amelia. Kuku Amelia is red, green and yellow. She has the best of all of us. She loves to knit. This is my Waka Apple family. It was nice to meet you all. Where apples are concerned, there's always enough for everyone. Waka waka moo moo, waka waka moo moo, waka waka moo! for the warm Waka welcome. I've come here today all the way to Waka Waka Moonland to talk to you about being healthy. Can you all say help? Help! Help! Waka Chira, relax! Waka Chira, relax! Look at you, Waka Chira. You are so extra, but we still love you, okay? Now tell me, kids, what do you do before you handle food? Oh, I know. We wash our hands. Very good, Ndeshi. Kids, always remember to wash your hands before you handle food, after going to the toilet, and also to always take a bath when you have played outside. Now, tell me. I want you to complete this sentence. An apple a day? Oh, I know. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well said, well said. Wow, I am so impressed. I am dealing with very, very clever kids here. So kids, always remember to eat healthy. You must stay away from the sweet stuff. Yeah? No sugar, no sweets. Always choose fruits and veggies. And that way you can grow up to be healthy and strong kids. Now kids, I have another question for you. How many times do you need to brush your teeth every day? Waka Ben, I brush my teeth when I wake up in the morning 
and before I go to bed. Percy Daisy, what do you do? As a bad child, you know, I brush my teeth after eating sweet things. I love brushing my teeth. Walk a chew and relax. Walk a chew and relax. Yes, walk a chew. We all get it. We know that you love brushing your teeth, don't you? And Sasha, well said. And kids, please always remember to brush your teeth. When you wake up, when you eat food that can damage your teeth, it's very important for the health of your teeth. Waka Ben, thank you for coming all the way to Waka Waka Land. Yes, I learned so much from you today. Staying healthy is important. Thank you, Waka Ben. Thank you very much, kids. I had a lovely time interacting with you here today. Thank you to Wakachira also for inviting me to Waka Waka Mulen. Staying healthy is very, very important. Today we learned about brushing our teeth, but there are also many other subjects that we can discuss next time. So I am looking forward to coming back and having fun with you here. Goodbye. Bye, Waka Bye. If you don't understand it, then get the information. Immunize your children for their protection against these infections. Call it vaccination. Polio will never be coolio. If you hear the radio calling, don't you say no, no, no. Polio. If you take no action, you destroy the nation. If you don't understand it, then get information. If you take no action, you destroy the nation. If you don't understand it, then get How old am I? I'm older than you. Go back in time, sorry, so bring it to you so you can know your history. I've been unfolding some mystery. I know, and everybody knows that I'm the master of chicory. Chicky, 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 pong. Many years ago, when the world lacked wisdom and chaos had spread around the world, our old friend Kwaku Ananse set out on a mission to save it. The world has gone into confusion. Perhaps I will arise to see the mighty Mayokiti Kata, maker of all things visible and invisible. When he arrived, Kwaku bowed quickly, offering praises and adorations before making his request. Almighty, maker of all things visible and invisible, won't you grant me the permission to search for the world's hidden wisdom so I may share with all? Well, if you share, that is fair. I grant you all the wisdom you seek. He set off on his new mission, returning to the earth with a magical tool and a pot to contain the wisdom. I will start by collecting all the floating wisdom in the great skies. Now, I want all the wisdom hidden in the soil under the Earth's surface. And finally, all the wisdom from the depths of the sea will float right into my pot. <laughs> after collecting all the Earth's wisdom, on the day of sharing, Anansi returned. Anansi. Everyone was excited about his kind gesture to return wisdom to mankind. But without warning, he ran to the tallest mountain where nobody could reach him. And now, I will finally take in all the wisdom so I can become the wisest of them all. Ah, 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 ah. All except Kwaku and their wisdom restored. For that which is to be shared is not to be hoarded. Hi, 
Africa friends, my name is Damona and on today's episode we're going to talk about stop, look and cross. You may have to walk to school or the bus stop or maybe even the taxi rank and back. Or you might have to cross the street to get to a friend's house or neighbor's. Always look for signals and use a pedestrian crossing to cross the road. When you can't find such markings, here's what you should do. Look to your right and then to the left to see if there are any approaching cars. If yes, wait for the cars to pass and then cross the road. Never cross at bends. Never cross between stationary cars. Children aged less than six should cross the street with an adult and hold a child's hand when crossing the street. That's all for today, Waka friends. Remember to stop, look and cross. Technology makes things easy for me. Technology made me glasses to see. Technology gave me light in the dark. Technology put those swings in the park. I can play games on my mama's phone. Candy Crush and Super Mario I cut that wood, I crush the stone Play music on daddy's stereo Technology makes things easy for me Technology made me glasses to see Technology gave me light in the dark I can travel around the world I can learn to play an instrument All because of technology Waka waka moo moo Waka waka moo moo Waka waka moo Hello children I am Waka Sibu Today's historic figure is all the way from the place where the highest mountain in Africa can be found. Yup, you've guessed it, Mount Kilimanjaro. Yes, I'm talking about Tanzania. Can you guess if he is a king or politician? I am talking about Julius Nyerere. Waka Waka Moon! Hi, my Waka friends. My name is Julius Nyerere. I lived from 13 April 1922 to 14 October 1999. My father was royalty. Yes, I am the son of a great Zanaki chief. My birth name is actually Kambarage Nyerere. I was born in Butiama, which is in Tanganyika. Tanganyika is in Tanzania, which is in East Africa. When I grew up, I married a beautiful woman by the name of Maria, and we have eight beautiful children. Andrew, Anna, Anselm, John, Charles, Godfrey, Rosemary, and Pauletta. I attended school in Uganda at the Makerere University, and also in Britain at University of Edinburgh. I was a teacher by profession. I basically helped form the Tanganyika African National Union in 1954, which helped Tanga obtain independence from Britain. The biggest awards I received are the Lenin Peace Prize and Gandhi Peace Prize. Aside from that, my legacy lives on to this very day. There are Julius Nyerere roads in Tanzania and streets named after me in Botswana, Kenya, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. I have over five secondary schools named after me. The St. Julius Nyerere International Convention Center in Dar es Salaam, Julius Nyerere International Airport, 
Julius Nyerere University of Agriculture, Julius Nyerere University of Kankan in Guinea, Nyerere Day, which is a public holiday in Tanzania on the 14th of October, Nyerere Sports Cup, Julius Nyerere Peace and Security Building of the Commission of the African Union in Addis Ababa. You see, my worker friends, some of your biggest accomplishments come later on in life when you do what is right and fight for other people. Waka waka moo! Back to you, Waka Sibu, my oldest, wisest, and coolest friend. Julius Nyerere. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Remember, kids, you are never too young to make a change in the world or to take up a leadership role. Be different and make a difference. I am Waka Sibu, the oldest, the coolest, and the smartest Waka in the entire Waka Waka Moo land. I'm Waka Pandu, and I like to play with my friends. Fairness and equality Because they make the world a better place There's always enough for everybody I'm Wakabandu and I like to play with my friends Fairness and equality Because they make the world a better place There's always enough for everybody Heaven. If you don't understand it, then get the information. Immunize your children for their protection against these infections. Call it vaccination. Polio will never be coolio. If you hear the radio calling, don't you say no, no, no. Polio. Take no action, you destroy the nation. If you don't understand it, then get information. If you take no action, you destroy the nation. If you don't understand it, then get information. Uh, yeah. Technology makes things easy for me. Technology made me glasses to see. Technology gave me light in the dark. Put those swings in the park I can play games on my mama's phone Candy Crush and Super Mario I cut that wood, I crush the stone Play music on daddy's stereo Technology makes things easy for me Technology made me glasses to see Technology gave me light in the dark Technology put those swings in the park I can read a book on the internet I can travel around the world I can learn to play an instrument All because of technology That's all the time we have for you today my Waka friends My name is Waka Chi Remember to free yourself, follow your heart, Waka Waka Moo Let's say 
sing the waka chant before we say goodbye. In three, two, one. Waka waka moo moo, waka waka moo moo, waka waka moo. Bye bye waka friends. See you next time. Bye waka friends. The coronavirus that causes COVID-19 has changed since the pandemic started. So does this mean the virus has become more dangerous? Scientists have discovered thousands of mutations to the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus. Most mutations only lead to small changes, but scientists believe one, called D614G, may have made it easier for the virus to infect human cells. This mutation most likely emerged after the initial outbreak in China, and it spread fast after the virus arrived in Europe. By the end of June, the D614G mutation was found in almost all samples of the virus worldwide. Scientists believe this is due to amino acid changes in the virus's spike proteins, improving its ability to infect human cells. Some studies have found more spikes on viruses with this mutation. These spikes latch onto receptors on the surface of our cells. They then transfer the virus's genetic material, called RNA, inside. Being inside the host cell allows the virus to make many copies of itself. Random errors sometimes happen in the copying process, which cause mutations. Although the full effects of D614G are still unclear, some studies suggest that the mutated virus might be more transmissible than the original. This could mean more people getting sick and at a faster rate. Despite this, there isn't any evidence that the disease itself has become more severe. Scientists are worried about mutations possibly increasing the risk of reinfection. Hong Kong reported what could be the first case of virus reinfection on the 24th of August. A healthy man in his 30s is thought to have caught the virus again four and a half months after he first got sick. During this time, mutations developed and new variants of the virus emerged. Some experts believe these changes may have made reinfections more likely. Mutations are common over the course of a pandemic. New flu vaccines are needed every winter to keep up with genetic changes to the flu virus. If a coronavirus vaccine is found, it could require regular booster jabs. Mutations won't happen overnight, and the coronavirus is mutating slower than the flu virus. But it's important for scientists to keep a close eye on how the virus changes over time. Could we be hearing more about other mutations in the future? Win free airtime with hashtag learn on one. Share your comments on the lessons. SMS your feedback, name and town to 555. Hashtag learn on one. Invite learning in. See how amazing and how faithful the God we serve is. It, it gives me so much joy and deepens my faith in God. We check my checkbook at her and I was like, this is your guy. I grabbed our wedding pictures and I started to rip them. And I said, this is what I think of us. And he got a lighter and began to burn our wedding pictures. I ran in the kitchen and got the knives and I told him I was going to kill him. A majority of African nations today are Christian. A majority of Europeans today say they're either atheist or have no religion. But God is using believers from the mission fields of Africa, Asia, and Eastern Europe, just as early missionaries had prayed for. Adios.